Hey guys, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Um, for those of you that are new, I am using Egyptian cartouche cards, meaning that this deck contains symbols that our ancient brothers and sisters were used to and were exposed to on the day to day. So yeah, they do contain small hieroglyphs on the corner of the cards to contain the potent energies. If you try to find a deck like this, it's about two to three hundred dollars used. Came out in print in 1995, so I'm very honored to be able to work with them. Alright, so today I'm going to do the reading for... Aquarius. Alright, I'm going to channel Aquarius, and then I'll get the number. Interesting, I got eight. All right. That means eight times that I will shuffle these cards. It's been really nice. It's been pretty hot over here on this side of the world. So it feels good to be able to do them in the afternoon when it's not so hot, and it's not so sunny. I appreciate the sun though. I really, really do. I believe that's five. Man, I'm so bad to counting when I'm talking. I need to get used to it. I believe that's six. All right, if I feel like giving it one more shuffle, then I will. Seven. Eight. Okay, so. I don't know why I had to pause. It was something. I feel um, I was definitely channeling an energy there. It feels like you're waiting for something. I don't know. That's what I got. I'm going to do the five point star spread and I'll explain each aspect of the spread as we go along with your reading. So without further ado, let's get started, Aquarius. One, two, three, four. Five. Wow, very interesting. Okay, let me just fix this in a way so that all right. So what I brought for you today is this Turkish water bowl. I use this um, usually, almost always when I pray, so um, I don't have any fancy totems because I'm traveling, but I do hope that this is able to definitely create the magical atmosphere that I tried to give. Anyway, interestingly enough here, um, so it's the situation or question. Um, this is the uh, comment no no no. sorry this is the reason for asking i kind of pause I'm, I'm telling you guys i'm pausing and you're reading a lot and i don't know why yet so this is reason for asking factors to be considered the advice or comment given and here we have the solution or advice okay so let's get started um here the situation problem or question is the onk the Ankh is an auspicious symbol. Um, in, in Ethiopia, the Ankh is still considered as a cross, interestingly enough, but the Ankh is the key of eternal life. So to break it down into the situation or question, I feel like this is, I feel like this is a message about going forward, like going forward in life towards your higher purpose to towards your true purpose is what I'm getting here so there is this question about like how to go forward to be able to to understand and then to attain your true purpose nice and then uh, here in the reason for asking uh, we have set set is the god of war the god of desert 
the brother of Osiris. So in this case, um, when it, when when it's like this, it's external factors, right? Um, it's uh, so 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 this is chaos. This is external chaos. This is internal chaos. So the reason for asking is that there is this there is this inner turmoil. Interestingly enough, there is this inner turmoil um, caused by you. So that's pretty much what I'm getting here because the only reason why set comes up is when there is a cause and an effect. When one does something and then gets the outcome. So in this case, it seems like there have been some decisions that you've been regretting or that have resulted with a chaotic outcome. So yeah, um, that is that is the reason for asking the fact that um, there there uh, there has been internal turmoil about past decisions or about like what what has happened. All right, and um, factors to be considered. So water is fluid. Water also needs ground to be able to flow. Water is beautiful. It, it can be seen through or it can be quite murky. So water also represents the emotions. In this case, we have um, upside, we have the reverse water. So it's ungrounded water. And factors to be considered, I'm getting here that there are gonna be some conflicting emotions. Um, there could be some highs and lows also there is a possibility of not quite understanding how you're feeling that's also what i'm getting here not understanding how to identify your emotions so um that is that is a factor to be considered is just to watch out for watch out identify absorb and let go of the emotions that you're feeling but there is definitely a call for contemplation and whatever it is that you're feeling all right, we have the beautiful Uraeus. Uraeus is the snake goddess. She is, she is quite the beauty. And I say this because it's not just a beauty in the outward sense. There is a beauty in terms of the way she carries herself. So um, as the snake, she has to stalk her prey and strikes when the opportunity is rife. So here, there is a message. Um, it's kind of letting me know that you are kind of letting opportunities pass you. Like, okay, so the snake is the observer. The snake is the stalker. And there are certain messages that I'm getting pertaining to this specific message, which is um, you need to be able to observe the environment in a certain way to know when the opportunities will arise and at the same time it's almost telling you that it's time it's time to act not now but it's time to act when there have when when there has been sufficient evidence to understand the action that needs to be taken place and so um also Uraeus is Uraeus is karma I don't know what you have been up to, I don't know what has been done to you, but it seems also a message of the karma wheel of what goes around comes around. So in that case, um, there might be some things coming your way and that is just karma. Whether it be good karma or bad karma, it doesn't matter. It's all one. Karma's karma. It's nothing personal. So just take that and understand that um and and understand that it's the time to observe to act on the opportunities when you have all of the observance uh, observations in front of you and to understand that what's going to be coming towards you or what will happen to you is a result of karma beautiful aquarius what a transformation time you're having. And here we have the winged disc. The winged disc is a beautiful message and symbol of elevation. The wings take us higher or inner. But in this case, the message is, the message is like there, there seems to be like, 
there was a path you were walking on and it seems that um, you somehow got sidetracked and I don't know how or why it happened but in the path forward there was there was a stalling that took place um and you know what let me just review let me just review everything just so we get the bigger message so we have in, in, in the question or situation, it's, it's um, how do I go forward and what is my true purpose? And then here we have the reason for asking are past decisions or situations that have come up because of your doing. Um, and factors to be considered conflicting emotions. The advice is understanding the observations that ones are presented with to act on them and to understand that that like the situations or the things that are coming up to them are a part of karma and here for the conclusion or outcome we have a winged disc and it's a reminder it's such a sweet message I'm getting guys it's it's a reminder kind of saying like yeah everybody messes up Everybody makes mistakes, but it's all a part of learning. Understanding that we live and we learn is part of this, is part of the flying mechanism that takes us higher. So as long as you're able to learn um, from, from what you lived, and not just learn, but you know, you, you heal your wounds, and you understand the scars because the wounds don't go away 100% they turn into scars right so it's almost saying it's time to heal your wounds and it's time to live from what you learned okay Aquarius very beautiful reading I enjoyed that all right so it was such a pleasure for me to read for you. I'm so glad I was able to do that outside, although the mosquitoes are starting to come hither. The mosquitoes don't really like me that much, so I think I'm good. <laughs> anyway, um, Aquarius, I really do hope that you're able to find the peace in your journey ahead and that any of the decisions that you make go hand in hand with your true purpose, okay? Um, I wish you guys only peace in your journeys. Thank you so much, and until next time. Bye, guys.